Sagittarius, welcome back everyone. Let's get this back up a bit. This is going to be a reading for all Sagittarius placements, okay? If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading is resonate with you. All right, let's see. What's the important message, please, for Sagittarius at this time? All right, so we have the Devil card. Okay, so something can be significant about a Capricorn. We have the Del the Nine of Swords. So somebody is really stressing or somebody is really paranoid or I feel like somebody, this don't have to be you Sagittarius, this could be a Capricorn or an air sign. Somebody has like a demon on their back or somebody cannot sleep good at night. They're constantly always, you know, tossing and turning. So we have the Three of Swords. So somebody is really heartbroken here. I'm also feeling like addiction or obsession is like slowly killing or hurting someone even worse. So we have the page of clubs. Okay. All right, this could be somebody feels tortured as well. This could be a kid. Why is the double card here? Okay, let's see. Let me see. Okay, why is the double card here, please? Okay, so we have the eight of swords. In the reverse, very interesting. I feel like somebody is trying their best to be free from this devil, or they are trying their best to get out of this this dark energy with somebody, or just get out of a dark space. Okay, so we have the judgment. So somebody is trying their best to release this. They don't want to be toxic. They don't want to be, you know, dark anymore. They don't want to be trapped or something of that nature. Somebody is kind of like tired of going through the same thing, being, you know, just going through addictions and, you know, being heartbroken maybe. Somebody is ready to release that energy stage. I still don't see your energy nowhere. What's the nine of swords? Why is the nine of swords here? So we have the death card. This could be a Scorpio. Okay. So we have the seven of wands. We have the king of cups. This could be a scorpio death card. So I feel like somebody wants to release some toxic energy. This is almost contradicting because this is telling me that somebody is refusing to change. They don't want to change. But this is saying somebody's they trying to release themselves from this devil energy, this toxic, this obsession, this addiction. But they are afraid to change. Like somebody don't know. It's like somebody is used to being toxic. Like they're used to being a, a devil, a demon. They're used to being angry, upset, negative. This they are so used to this, to the fact where they want to change, but just something just keeping them in stuck in this energy here. Okay, very interesting. Person. Somebody could be possessed, like literally. Okay, like some or something is trying to possess somebody to keep them stuck in something they don't want to be in. Okay, some, I'm definitely getting some. Um, somebody has to beat their mind in, in whatever this is. Their mind is keeping them trapped. Now, this could be a spirit that's, you know, that's, um, this could be a demonic spirit that's trying to convince somebody to stay in this negative energy, this toxic energy. Why is it through swords here? Why is it through swords? So, yeah, the hangman. Yeah, somebody is kind of like, hanging on to heartbreak or lies or manipulation um they're hanging on to a situation that's clearly not good for them or they're holding on to perspectives that's not good for them okay yeah the ace of swords somebody is starting to see the truth now um here Sagittarius I don't know where you at this could be you the queen of wands the ten of swords there you go you finally show up Okay, what is the ace of swords? What is the truth that somebody is seeing here? So the three of pentacles. So somebody is starting to realize, yeah, the tower. Somebody is having a powerful realization that it's the people that they are hanging with, it's the things that they are listening to, it's the group that they are in. Somebody is realizing that this group, whatever this three of pentacles is, is the cause of the heartbreak. So somebody could be working with another person. They could be dealing with another person. They could be in a relationship with another person, trying to build something with somebody else. It's almost like whoever is, whatever this three of pentacles got going on, these people attract negativity. They attract, attract dark energy. 
But that is whoever this nine of swords that's tired of dealing with this. They are choosing to be a part of this three of pentacles, even though they don't want to do it. They don't want to be toxic. They don't want to be evil. They don't want to be dark. They don't want to be obsessive. They don't want to deal with these addictions. Yet they are still, you know, around this three of pentacles energy. But I feel like with the ace of swords, the tower, and this hangman, they are realizing that, damn, maybe it's, maybe I need to get away from this group or this person, or maybe it's this person that's the reason why I'm in this energy, okay, or something of that nature. What's the three of pentacles, ace of swords? Okay, so yeah, the ace of pentacles, yeah, somebody's ready to start something new, turn over a new leaf, um, move somewhere new. Okay, something of that nature. Somebody's like, I need to move. I need to do something new. I need to focus on something new. I need to get a new job. Yeah, somebody's like, I need to move, man. It's time for me to, to move somewhere new, do something new, get away from these people. So what is the Three of Pentacles doing here? No, give me, what's the Seven of Wands in the Death Card? What's the Seven of Wands in the Death I see too, you probably had to block a Scorpio or you had to block, uh, a Scorpio had to block you. Somebody could be stressed about this. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is can't walk away from something, okay, when they need to. But I am getting they are going to make their way. When the judgment come out, they let me know they are going to make their way out. But somebody really want to leave a, a relationship, a partnership, or something that they know that is bringing them negative energy, toxic energy. Yeah, the fool. Somebody really want to leave. Okay. Somebody don't know where to go, or they don't they don't know how. Yeah, somebody want to leave this group, this friend, the three of pentacles, the three of cups. Okay, so what is the group doing here? What is these people doing? What what do this three of pentacles? What are they doing? Yeah. Sorry, y'all. It might look a little creepy right now. Ten of Wands. Okay, so somebody is. Sorry, y'all. Can y'all see? Hold on. Okay. All right, so somebody, somebody could be doing maybe a lot of gossiping. Um. Just a lot of partying, a lot of celebrating. What is the two of wands, the three of cups, but what is these people, what are they doing? So the two of pentacles. They are mixing something. Um, whatever this is, I'm getting they have fun doing it, whatever these people are doing. So this could be like a drug, maybe they everybody get together, drink, they party, damn. These cards, I have no idea. So we have the seven cups. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like mixing something up. I don't know why I'm getting like mixing something up. Making mixing up something and drinking it. Okay, this is getting really weird. Okay, more energy here. So we have the king of pentacles. Okay. And the moon card. So first of all, I'm getting somebody is hiding the fact that they are on a heavy drug. Like somebody is on a really heavy drug that they cannot control. They cannot break themselves free from. But they can, but they think they can't. Somebody feel like is they're bound to doing these drugs, doing something. I'm getting it's a hardcore drug though. Something that like with the seven of cups coming out and the moon, this is something that really puts somebody in a different mindset when they consume whatever this is. I'm getting they do it a lot. Somebody's also mixing drugs. Okay. So where is Sagittarius at? This could be this could be your father Sagittarius or a masculine energy or your child's father. Somebody is hiding the fact that they own this heavy drug and they're trying their best to stop it. Okay, so like if you've been feeling like somebody don't feel the same, they don't act the same, they don't look the same, you feel like somebody is being weird, always acting nervous, always, I don't know what this person is doing. Okay, so for some of you, not, of course, this reading not going to resonate for everybody, but for some of you, somebody is definitely having the fact that they are doing some sort of heavy drug that they are trying their best to free themselves from. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, so you're the fool, Corey. Yeah, somebody trying to free them. But they I get I'm getting the some whoever this king of pentacles is could be somebody will be able to free themselves from this. The high priestess, the seven of swords, they're gonna keep this shit a secret though. They're not gonna tell anybody this. They're not they they will never reveal this ever. Like somebody is definitely doing something really like a real heavy, heavy, heavy drug. Okay. I feel like somebody sneak over at their mistress house. Somebody's doing this with a mistress or a side piece or some shit like that. Or like a lover. Or if it could be friends, so the three of cups. Somebody's doing this with a friend. Alright, so why is this? Let me ask this. Why is this coming up in Sagittarius reading? Why is this important? Alright, so Sagittarius. So we have the six of wands. Because you were right. So this is something that you were wondering. You were wondering this about a family member. You're wondering this about someone. You like, I wonder what is wrong with that person? Like, they don't act the same. Is they on this drug? What are they doing? Okay, with the six of wands, I feel like this is something that you are concerned about. And you're you're asking if you're wondering if this is happening or something like that. All right, so we have the high priestess and the seven of swords. Your, your intuition is correct about somebody sneaking, doing something. Sneaking, doing. I'm getting it's a drug, though. It's, it's something that somebody... I'm getting you to be shocked that this person even do, do this. Maybe somebody is older as well. Somebody could be young. This could also be somebody's kid or somebody's supposed to babysit your child or some shit like that and they didn't come through. This could be a female energy as well. Okay. But I'm definitely getting... So what's the high priestess in the Seven of Swords? Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting you are correct. The tower, the star, the high priestess. Yeah, you are definitely right. You are king of swords, like you are really right. So if you are, if you think that somebody is doing drugs or on drugs or is doing something that's something that's out the ordinary that they normally don't do, they are definitely doing it. They are hiding it really well, though. I'm getting somebody is hiding this well. I am getting somebody is going to be free from this addiction, though. Somebody is on, on the like somebody feel judged. They know they're going to be judged, or they don't want to be judged. So, therefore, they're going to leave this alone. I'm getting to somebody afraid of what their family might think. I'm getting to somebody used to go, somebody used to do this drug, then they went back to doing it. Okay, so I'm getting somebody's, like, really fighting a really bad drug habit. That I'm getting they are going to beat this, though. But I feel like this is something that you that was concerning you when it comes to somebody you know, Sag. This could be a father, brother, cousin, sister, brother, whoever. Okay. So, let's see. Daydreaming, head in the clouds, delusion, hopes, and dreams. So somebody is, I'm getting somebody is thinking about um, people, like somebody is in their head about what people might say. Yeah, we have chaos, disaster, downfall. Yeah, somebody feel like somebody is in their head about people thinking that they um, wrong in their life. This is why it's on their mind so heavy, or this is why it's coming up in your reading, Sagittarius. Somebody feel like you might think that, that damn, you're ruining your life for X, Y, Z. Somebody think that's how you're going to feel about them. Like I said, somebody think that you're going to judge them or something of that nature. Okay, so we have um, epiphany at the bottom of the day. Yeah, self-reflection. Yeah, somebody is definitely realizing something about themselves. Realizing that, you know, with this trap energy here, they have to get themselves out of this stuck energy when it comes to doing whatever this drug is. Okay, but that's what I have for you, though, Sagittarius, my love. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.